You saying the introduction? Yeah. Huh? What's this button here? Don't do it, don't do it. I don't know what it does. <laughs> Alright, yep, so just start talking to me about the movies. Oh, is this close? That was it. Oh, is this close to doing the move? Mighty man of valor. That's a rest. Sword for the Lord. <laughs> What's up guys and girls? This is Nick, the Zip, with my boy Kyle, or as people know him as. Hey, come on. This guy's amazing. Uh, if you're already checking out this video, you probably already know how amazing he is. But if you haven't, if you're late to the game, you be hey, you guys are here. You're witnessing greatness. Welcome to Stop the Music Champion Edition. So what we're doing today is we are going to drive to Chick-fil-A and run this interview the entire time get food get back here and that should conclude the interview all right you guys ready let's do it let's, let's get go. on okay well um to start off the conversation um how many times do you usually read romans 8 if god is for us who can be against us right. i know that's kind of a heavy influence is romans 8 so that's mm -hmm. why i started there yeah i think if God is for us, who can be against us? I'm sliding a little bit, it's a little bit slippery out here. I should have put us in a four-wheel drive. Uh, Probably should have. Yeah, well, well, we'll, we'll do it real quick. Um, man, I didn't know it would be this complicated to drive and do an interview at the exact same time. But I told you. Here we are, struggling already. So I'm going to need a reboot. What's the question? The question is... Or next question. All right, see you on... Okay. <laughs> So, what's champion? Why champion? Why champion? So I was watching a documentary on Netflix. And I think it's called The Playbook. And they're interviewing former head coach of the Boston Celtics, Doc Rivers. And he was talking about who he looked up to when he was younger. And he was talking about Muhammad Ali. And he was saying, the thing about champions is people don't realize is they get hit they actually get hit a lot limits, that is when I see it no hit him good oh yeah we're good yeah. but it's a champion who decides to keep moving forward until they find a way to win taking as many hits as they can until they break through kind of triggered this idea of, of writing a song called champion a little bit back towards you. Yeah, right. They don't need to see. Perfect. Me. They need to see. You. They need to see the guy asking the questions. No, I'm just so I'm not, I'm a nobody. All right, I'm going to say next question. Next question. All right. So the next question is, man, what's going on with you? You know, what's what's what what can we expect from you in the near future? What's what's on your radar? In the near future, um, by the time you watch this interview, you should have access to my new album called Ironside. 12 tracks and the goal is to travel the country promote the album and keep doing music doing music full time so that's the plan so champion mm -hmm. talk to me more about the lyric you know behind the lyrics you know mm -hmm. so, talk me through your thought process so you talked about Muhammad Ali you talked about the interview with Doc Rivers you talked about the documentary that inspired you talk more about that you know, mm -hmm. kind of, kind of give us an insight in your mind. It's good. This is a long red light. About to do this. I'm, I'm, shout, shout out to the fans. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm just listening. A mighty man of valor. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sword yeah. for the Lord. Okay, I've been on the track. If you haven't yet noticed. Keep coming back. If you think that you'll stop me, well, you must be whack. From the top of oh, the mountain, I bring the attack. Like inch and a half there. Two down. Uh, One more, or we cool now. Can you too loud? Make a noise, yeah. This is hurt so bad right now. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. It's very similar for when I wrote the lyrics to Ironside. Yeah. When I started writing Ironside, I had just come off of filming the music video for Demons 2. Right. And going through all that experience. So the lyrics of Ironside were very much influenced by what I was going through at the time. And so Champion, um, it's the same thing except with... Uh, we going left here? Yeah. Okay. 
one of the big things it was hard to have faith to keep going and putting out that music video and pushing through um, to get that project done. I was discouraged during the time. You know, I was praying about it and God had me, you know, go to the Bible and start reading the Bible. And what he encouraged me with was the story of Gideon in the book of Judges. Mm. And so one of the things with Gideon, uh, he was pursuing his enemies and his soldiers were tired, they were hungry, and he stopped at these different cities and he was asking for, for food and they turned him down and they said, you know, basically like, maybe if we see that you have the enemies in your hands, we'd help you, but we're not going to help you out right now. So he was kind of bold and he said, I'm going to come back and I'm going to tear down your tower. And I mean, it, I was not, I'm not trying to tear anybody's tower down, but it just encouraged me to know that somebody else was, was going through a time of like people doubting them. The first thing that the angel of the Lord says to, to Gideon, he calls him a mighty man of valor. So that's what I'm referencing in the beginning of that song. The hook. I'm a fight yeah. like a champion. What, so, who's this hook for? I would say this song is a great representation of my life, where it is right now, and what I've been going through. And especially pursuing music, I've had to decide that I'm going to fight like a champion. While I've been on this journey putting out new songs and new music, I faced a lot of opposition and a lot of that is in spiritual warfare. Mm. So when I say taking hit after hit, I've really been taking a lot of hits and it's been hard to keep focused and keep moving and the hard thing for me is that it's not even just me personally who's experiencing the struggle. I'm seeing uh, people that I care about, people that I love, you know, things coming against them in response to me trying to put this music out. So this is just a declarative statement that I'm gonna fight like a champion. And Chick-fil-A is the right, sorry. Like yeah, we're, we're gonna get to Chick-fil-A eventually, even if we miss a few turns. We're not gonna run any red lights though. I was pushing it. The fact that Jesus has won the war, mm -hmm. that Jesus is the real champion, and you rest in that how does that change your life yeah how, how does that change the outlook on this this world you know what's going on in this world a lot of people are not really thinking they're winning a lot mm -hmm. people can't even pay their grocery bills how how does your relationship with god and knowing who god is change your life it completely changes the way that you live because you know that you're not living for your time here on earth, you're living for the next life. And so, when you have a heavenly mindset, it puts everything in perspective. And you can know that maybe the suffering that you're going through, it's only momentary for this time and it's just a trial and it's gonna be okay. And the biggest thing is that if you believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Christ, that is God's only Son who came to die for our sins, pay the price for all the things that we've done wrong, and that He beat death, He rose from the grave, and is now sitting at the right hand of the Father, interceding on our behalf, and that we are credited with His righteousness. Mm -hmm. You know, If you believe in Him, you will be saved and He will give you eternal life. And so, when you have that eternal life, you know that there's nothing in this world that can take that away from you. Mm. And it gives you the confidence to live your life. As a champion. As a champion, yeah. As a child of God, a co-heir with Christ. Mm -hmm. Hey, we made it to Chick-fil-A. We did. That's a straight miracle in itself right there. Now we get to order. I didn't take anyone's order, dog. He didn't. Hi, how are you this evening? Good, how are you doing? I'm wonderful, thank you. How may I serve you? Um, can I get a number four meal? Number four? What would you like as your beverage? Yeah, it's sweet tea. Can I get a side of cheese sauce? Sure thing. Anything else this evening? I'll take a deluxe uh, meal. I'll take a, a large fry. 
And then and then the milkshake. I got cash with milk. Go for it. Go for it, bro. Okay. What flavor milkshake? Chocolate. May I have a name for this order, please? Kyle. Do you need a receipt tonight, Kyle? No, that's okay. So where did the lyric stay frosty come from? <laughs> um were you eating Wendy's one day and you're like, Frosty? No, I was just a different way of saying I'm not upset. And I just liked the way that it came out. I, I loved it. it too, man. I, when I play Call of Duty, they say, uh, stay frosty, so. Oh, okay. So I didn't know if you are making Call of Duty reference. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> the hope of Christ, the eternal perspective you're talking about. That's that's the background for this. I'm gonna fight like a champion because I know my champion has already fought for me and, and won. What the devil, our enemy, tries to do is get us to live in fear. Amen. Yep. Because his biggest weapon is fear and death. But Jesus conquered death. Amen. So death. every every man dies. Yeah. Yeah. But what are you living for? Hmm. Say that again. I said every every man dies. Yeah. Everyone dies. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we living for? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. So what would you say as a Christian man? What are we living for? What is the message we're, of your We're view? living for the glory of God, to bring glory to God. And we're also living to set the captives free. Because there's so many people that live in fear and bondage to the devil and in bondage to the world. And to be quite honest, they're headed to hell. Yeah. Because that's where we've, we were all headed. Yeah. But Jesus, what he did on the cross paid that price. Mm. So that's why it's called the gospel. That's why it's called good news. Yeah. Because we have salvation in Jesus. One of our biggest purposes in life is to spread that message. Yeah. And to share that hope with other people. To help them become get back in right standing with God which is what we need so you're saying we are not naturally in right with God no Kyle what was the name for your work? Kyle alrighty Kyle would I be able to pull you up to the door for Kyle hi yeah say what thank you have a good night thank you, you too alright we're headed back yep but to read right. her, to read her the, the question uh huh how is being a Christian and having these the gospel and having these truths that we just talked about, how has that affected your music career, Champion, and any song you want to bring up? Because I know it's just not Champion. I know that's your latest song, but I know it it influences everything you do. Music is a yeah. reflection of my life, and, and what I'm going through is usually what comes out. Right. And what I write about. My identity is in Christ. Mm. So that's why I say I'm a Christian rapper. Right. Because primarily I'm a Christian. Yeah. Who raps. Yeah. So say it one more time, bro. It's 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 not it's not what you do, it's who you are in Jesus. Say it one more time. That was awesome, bro. Yeah, my identity is in Christ and that's where my value is. Um because I was created in the image of God. And as a human, that is God created you in his image. And so your value comes from that. I understanding that I know that, you know, yes, I, I consider myself a rapper, but that's not ultimately my, my only identity. And that's not my source of my value. It's in Christ. And you still, you, you know, do that for the, you use rap as a platform mm -hmm. to share not only what's going in your life as a person, like mm -hmm. other rappers, mm -hmm. but you're bringing that aspect of, of being a Christian and the Bible and what, what Jesus says and what God says. Mm -hmm. And compare that to other rappers and not saying you're better or worse than them, but how does that give your music an added value? A, a, you know, when people listen to it, they're getting your life mm -hmm. like you, like any rapper, but they're also getting something that they might not get. Them listening to the songs might be the only Bible that they read. Yeah, and I think, you know, for me, I, I'm just trying to be myself and I'm just trying to be authentic. So, the goal of my music, I, the goal of my career as a rapper is not to be the best or not to be anyone else. It's just to be myself. Who God created you Put to out be. music that speaks truth and uplifts the listeners, encourages them. 
I heard you were at Salem, right? Salem High School. Yeah. Right? Take me through that. I wasn't even sure that I was going to film this music video because I knew I was releasing the album and I was putting a lot of focus into that. But it was a God thing because God started plastering the word champion everywhere. I couldn't escape it. It was like four, five, six times a day. Somebody would say the word champion. <laughs> and um, it's hard to even think of specific times because it was just so much. So I knew that there was something special about this song. I knew that I needed to push forward with it. I knew I wanted to film at the track and, and we were able to get that done. And some of the filming we did outside of the Planet Fitness uh, that I work out at. So not being able to get into a martial arts gym or a boxing gym for that matter um, made me decide to go the route of doing something more outdoor, more mm -hmm. adventurous. And so that's what actually led to us you know, climbing the mountain. I'm pushing my limits because that is when I am living. And with the Which way we go? I'm not about the decision. Not that way. But give it back in a minute. Now we might be toe to toe, but this ends in KO. I'm a fight like a champion. With my guy, we're gonna stand against. Somehow, some way, I'm not afraid because I was born for this. I came to play, make no mistake, yeah, I was born for this. All right, Kyle. I'm a fight like oh, a yeah. champion. Yeah, this is an outlook. <laughs> With my guy, we're gonna stand against. Somehow, some way, I'm not afraid because I was born for this. I came to play, make no mistake, yeah, I was born for yeah. this. I know God is all I need, can stop it. He got me. Let's come up here, Corsa. <laughs> From the even ground. Okay. Not frosty. I'm a better man now than I was at the start. But put me under the scope and go and tear me apart. But the Lord is my witness. He put the feet in my heart. So what, one time. Shot in the dark. Yay, I walk through the valley of death. The Lord is my shepherd. Watch where you step in. So I will have no fear. I walk in the day. You want it? Come get it. Show up like a regular thing. I'm pushing my limits because that is when. Kyle was telling me, long story short, he filmed some of it, which was really cool, in Seattle area mm -hmm. because he actually had to pick up his uh, sister's car. car and uh, I think there was a cat involved, I'm not yeah. too sure. And then on his way back, they went to North Dakota. We're staying up north, pretty much on our drive back to Ohio. And I found some things I thought might be interesting in South Dakota. Ah. Actually near Mount Rushmore. Gotcha. And the plant, we had a spot that we were trying to go to. And the night before we were going to go to these spots, I found out that all the the roads to these scenic areas were closed because it was winter. So the only place I could find was a place called Hell Canyon. And I told Corey, I guess this is where we're headed. I had to the mountain. Yeah. Let's see. Here we go. Yep, not very cool. Sure. Yeah. Hands up in the air like Rocky. There we go. But the Lord is my witness. He put the beat in my heart. So when I hit that rock bottom, my light will shine in the dark. Yay. I walked through the valley of death. The Lord is my shepherd. And there's even a point where you can kind of stop and kind of like just kind of scan out the whole area. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Up the drop off. And Corey is your He was the cameraman uh for this for this video. A better cameraman than skipped. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. That's funny. Uh so yeah, and he also he's in the video, you see him holding the mitts for when I'm um punching, boxing a little bit. The bearded guy. Um he does not have a beard, no. That who was that guy? I'm just, I, yeah, just don't hit me, just miss. <laughs> I'll just stay down. Walk like. 
Oh, so I got him. Yeah, right here. Right here. I was close. I got really close. Oh, oh boy, we hit it. It's pretty messed up. Here, you do it. It's not messed up. It's just, you just turn it off. It just got backwards. That'll be some good film right there. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was like, oh, it took the thing. Like, boom. You want to watch it? Perfect. See, it's already fixed. Let me get the Wait, it's upside off. down. Once we got back from our trip to Seattle and through South Dakota back to Ohio, I got reached out to on Facebook by Pastor Rocky, who is also a boxing coach. And I went and stopped out at his gym to see if I could possibly do some filming there. He was really cool about it. We scheduled a day to film, and actually a couple of his fighters decided to stick around so that they could be in the music video. And the, kind of the inspiration was the movie Cinderella Man for that final scene. And if you've seen the movie Cinderella Man with Max Baer and James Braddock duking it out at the end, um, that's what we were trying to recreate, that final scene. Wow. I think you said Rocky IV was some of the inspiration in the middle of the film, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was fighting the Drago, the Russian, in mm -hmm. Russia. So that was nice that you filmed it during the winter. I mean, Ohio, Russia, like, it's the same thing. Yeah, we tried to give the same vibe through there, especially with just the running through the snow and uh, doing the, the chin-ups and pull-ups outside, sit-ups outside. How many can you actually really do without, like... <laughs> um, I can do the most chin-ups. Yeah, if my arms are fresh, maybe like 15, 16. How about those weird sit-up things? Oh, those... <laughs> Those are pretty tough, especially on that bar, because it's not uh, not that comfortable. I don't know, I've never tried to do as many as I can, but you know, just 10, 10 to 20 maybe. Just enough to take Just to get enough the to take. get the film, yeah. Yeah, to get the take. <laughs> Tell me more about how Rocky inspired you, the Italian Stallion, you know? Yeah, I love the Rocky movies. Once I wrote this song, I knew that in my mind, I had a boxing theme to it, a fighting theme at least. So I wanted to get in the mindset of a fighter. So that's what I did. I just started training physically to get in condition, um, cutting how weight. And how long did that take, by the way? I, I can't even lose 10 pounds. <laughs> at least I had been working out consistently before that. So, But uh, yeah, there's probably about a few months leading up to filming. Or at least a couple months where I knew uh, that I'd be filming as like a, as a fighter, as a boxer. So cutting weight was the hardest part of the whole process. Did you that do the tough. wrestler thing, or what? Did you diet? What did you do? <laughs> I yeah, just the goal of losing weight. You have to eat less calories than you than you burn. Corey and I, we had been working out at the gym a lot, but part of the thing we also got into was working out at the track. We had been doing sprint workouts at the track and the local trail. When I say the line back on track, it was kind of a reference to some of the physical training we'd already been uh, doing. You running on the actual track? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because those were the type, we were doing sprints. We were running 100 meter sprints. So. That's the only time you'll ever catch me It was fun me to running. do that in the, in the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinter by trade. <laughs> Very dangerous in short distances. What do you want people to get from the song? Like, you know, you know, you know? I think I think for different people I want them to I just want people to be encouraged and to enjoy the music. And that's my big thing. If I can do both of those I, I think I'm on the right track. Especially if I'm pointing people to God and glorifying God with what I do. What was your favorite scene to film? And why? Oh man, favorite scene. Fight like a champion. With my guy, what gonna stand against? Somehow, some way, I'm not afraid because I was born for this. I came to play, make no mistake, yeah, I was born for this. I said I'm pushing my limits because that is when I am living. And with the moves that I've made, I'm not about the decision. I'm taking hit after hit, but give it back in a minute. Now we might be toe to toe, but this ends in KO. Yeah, I'm a fight like a champion. My God, we're gonna stand again. Somehow, I'm not afraid because I was born for this. 
I came to play, make no mistake, yeah, I was born for this. Yeah, I'ma fight like a champion. Oh, oh. With my guy, we're gonna stand again. No, 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 let me tell you, it was tough filming a lot of these scenes. <laughs> I, I bet. <laughs> because it was cold. Very cold. Go left. Left, right, and then straight. And then at the light that you turn left at, you're going to take a left at, but it's like a weird left. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Wow. I can't believe I got us here. <laughs> I can. I would have told you if you were going the wrong way. Yeah, we, uh, we're definitely off track, but we're almost there. Mm-hmm. And people living in this world we're living in, other than encouraging everything you just said, mm. big takeaway here, man. Focusing in on what you said about 2020 being such a crazy year and, and all everything that's just going on in the world right now. The point I'm trying to make is that life is going to be hard sometimes. There are going to be storms that come up your way, that come my way. But the mentality that we need to have is to fight like a champion someone oh yeah he's gonna get hit you're gonna get hit but you just have to have faith and keep going and keep pushing through and taking that type of men mentality and applying it to your life I think will make a huge difference and you have your eyes set on Jesus and eternal life that gives you hope to keep going through any circumstance you know, my, my girlfriend, Alyssa, always reminds me of this verse. It says, a righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up the eighth. Mm -hmm. And I love the boxing analogy. It was absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> uh, a, a gore and, um... What we can do is we can plug this thing in. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to plug it in. Well, it looks like we're going, we're going dark. Sorry, guys. What? This uh, is for the blooper reel. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. When the light dies and we're still driving. We, we, we might have to pull over, man. I'm close. I'm close. I got this. Somehow, someway, I'm not afraid. Why? I was born for this. I came to play, make no mistake. I was born for this. Oh, it turns out that was the wrong one to unscrew. So, what, what what's next for you, man? We made it. We made it. What's made next it. for you? What's next for me? Um, well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, all the music videos. I want to just keep putting out more content, more good stuff for people. And, you know, just trusting in the Lord to open the doors for me to walk through and go in faith. All right, go ahead, Kyle. Yeah. Dear God, I thank you for Nick. I thank you for this interview. I thank you for all of your blessings. And I just pray that for the viewers and anybody watching, I just pray um, your peace and your truth to touch them and help them uh, in their life and in their own struggles and uh, I just pray that you help me and help uh, the music to make an impact for your glory and I pray this in Jesus name Amen Well thank you guys so much it's been a pleasure Jesus said to seek the kingdom first and his righteousness and everything else will fall and he said what good if a man gains the whole world and loses his soul and store up treasures mm -hmm. not on earth but in heaven so I want to encourage you guys that to check out his stuff but ultimately know that Kyle or you got it. Hegemon Hegemon <laughs> his rapper name but his name's Kyle to me always will always will be always was always will be he's pointing you to Jesus Christ Anything else? I think that's it. I'm ready to eat Chick-fil-A. I'm starving. All right. <laughs> taste and see that the Lord is good, guys, because we're about to taste and see Chick-fil-A. So catch you guys later. Peace out.